All right, so if you've been wondering how to how to remove error 3004 on iTunes, it's going to be how to do it. First, what you're going to do is go to your desktop mode. Uh, you're going to go to any application. Go ahead and right click it. Click on uninstall. Once you've uninstalled, um, you know, go ahead and search iTunes. You're gonna go ahead and right click it, uninstall, and then you're gonna go ahead and search Bonjour. You just search B O N and then go ahead and right click it and uninstall it. Then you should be good. Open, well, go to your internet browser, go ahead and open up a new browser, go to iTunes.com, go ahead and download iTunes. And then uh, you have to have a 64 bit on Windows. I don't know about Mac. And then you're going to click on download. Once you have that, you're going to go to iTunes. Going to go to iTunes. And what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your Apple iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. Hold up and plug it in. Once you plug it in, go ahead and click on your Apple device. Go ahead and shift click restore. Uh, you're going to have to turn on. Okay, let me turn this off for you guys real quick. Alright, so you're going to click on shift, click restore once again. You're going to scroll down. If it's on your desktop, it should be on your desktop if you saved it there. Go ahead and click on it and click on open and you're good. Oh, just to let you guys know, I have the iPad mini, so it's not really a big deal. It's basically happened to. So just click on shift, click restore. Remember that. Go ahead and open it by double clicking it and then click on restore. But I'm going to click on cancel since um i don't want to do that and yeah uh and that's how you remove error 3004 that's how i removed it there is another way to remove it and i'll show you guys that way right now go ahead and go into your little thing right there i don't know how it is on windows 7 go to computer go down to that uh go to windows scroll down until you see system 32 and then go down to drivers and then go to etc etc and you're gonna go ahead and click on that and drag it to your desktop all right you're gonna click on continue are you gonna drag it to your desktop i need a okay yeah i know what to do there but just drag that to your desktop do not copy and paste drag it to your desktop I've heard that works, but it did not work for me, so I did not do it, and that's how you do that, guys. Peace.